Hello, I'm Dr. Jamie Mathias, Executive Director of MASBA, the Mexican American School Boards Association. Welcome to this webinar that is co sponsored by Educational Achievement Services and Impact Truth. Today we have two powerful speakers with us. You heard them on stage at our annual MASBA conference in February. They are the author of Journey into the Future, retired Lieutenant Colonel Consuelo Castillo Kickbush, and the author of Homeless by Choice, Roy Juarez Jr. They're presenting to us today on the four steps to courageous leadership. Welcome Consuelo and Roy. Thank you so much, welcome. Buenos dias, Madma. Buenos dias, Jamie. We Buenos are just so, so excited. Uh, and thank you for allowing us to be a part of this wonderful conversation around leadership. Uh, I would like to take a moment to uh, share our love and our prayers to everyone. And uh, if, in fact, someone uh, who is listening may have a, a relative, a friend, or someone that is in uh, in the hospital or has left us, we, on behalf of Roy and I, we want to uh, yes. share condolences and our love, and and uh, and as they perhaps uh, our parents would want, so want us is to continue, continue uh, to do what we're doing, and that's to address the topic of courageous leadership. And I think that's an amazing way to start, Consuelo. And being so that late last night, as you know, uh, we got word from my mom that she is now in self-quarantine because she came in contact with COVID-19. So they are all more the real on this end. So thank you so much for those kind words. You so know, Medellin, what a delight to have you both with us today. So tell us all about the four steps to courageous leadership. You have us all on the edges of our seat. <laughs> <laughs> well, more than ever, you know, you look at leaders, how they would perform and under normal conditions, but th these are not normal times that it's gonna shift in our norm. So one of the first steps that I always, in moments of, of crisis or feeling uh, that I need to uh, do something quickly is never forget uh, the big H in our webinar part one is humility. The, that we are as leaders uh, being shaken be moved to remember this is not a time to think about egos or political uh, views or that we have to be right. Or that we now look through our humility lens and that we think about how am I bringing others along? My sensitivity needs to be in forefront, my compassion, my consideration, and, and especially for our MASPA and other uh, friends that are listening, collaboration. It, 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 this is the moment for us to humble ourselves and say, look, we're, we're in this together. Uh, I know, for example, the and Roy will I'll ask you to share where it was that, where were you, what happened when all of a sudden uh, you were feeling the humbleness all over again? Well, I think that during this time, it's really caused us to, Mother Nature has given us a timeout a time to stop, reflect, and really think about, you know, what's most important. And even as, as leaders, as, as courageous leaders, we can ask the same question in the way that we serve, what's most important? And who, who, do we, who are we really serving? For me, the reason why this brought me back to home and back to the basics was because when I was, was laying on, on your couch, Ms. K, because I was in transition, I was about to head home when I found out that my apartment complex, um, there were several people with COVID-19 um, and I gave, I gave you and my little brother a call and they said, come back, come back because we feel safe if you're here. So we decided to quarantine together. I had this feeling of being homeless again. For the listeners that were at the conference who know my story, for those that don't know my story, I grew up as a homeless kid, first became homeless at the age of 14, eventually with my nine-year-old sister and two-year-old brother. So just that idea of, of that allowing that fear to come right back in, but I had to instantly reach out and identify where were my strengths. And my strengths came from all that I had overcome, all that I had seen, all that I had experienced. And all of that was summed up when I rode over and looked at my baby brother laying next to me. When I saw him, it was a reminder how I had made it so far and never to allow anything 
to hold me back. I just have to find a new way of doing things the same way I did when I was a homeless kid. That's where I find my strength. So that one of my uh, consueloisms that I like to remind me in terms of trying to remain every day to be as humble as I can is you can't know where you're going until you have understood where you have been. And this pandemic, uh, as we look back at our histories and we look back at how we grew up, uh, this may not be new to us. You know, we as uh, Latinos who have come through and, and are standing on the shoulders of, of our ancestors that were limited perhaps in money, limited in resources, that their courageous leadership is they relied on their faith, they relied in their uh, their pueblo, they relied, they, were, they weren't poor, they were rich in culture, traditions and values and faith. So one of my, uh, one of my favorite videos that I think even more so is so appropriate during this time, and we want to share it with all our listeners is, let's remain humble and think about it through the lens of this video. When we're laying on our deathbed, you're not going to worry about how much money you had, how much power you had, how much prestige. You're going to see that that was all game, that that was all an illusion. The only thing that's going to matter is the impact you had on other people's lives. We are all on a separate journey. But the beautiful thing about our life here on this earth is that my funeral, they ain't going to talk about my success. They're going to talk about who Nick was and how Nick lived and how Nick loved and encouraged. Success is incredibly important, but even more important than success is having an impact. It's knowing you haven't walked the planet in vain. It's knowing that because you've been here, you've blessed lives, you've developed people, and you have made the world a better place. The effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. Everything you gain in life will rot and fall apart. And all that will be left of you is what was in your heart. Life is a mirror. Life gives us not what we want. Life gives us who we are. When you were born, you cried while the world rejoiced. Live your life in such a way that when you die, the world cries while you rejoice. That is such a powerful video, Ms. K. When, even, even in watching that, I think of who, even for myself, what it does is it causes me to reflect on who are you as a leader? How did you, how did you encourage those while you spent your time here on earth? How would you make an impact? We're all given just so much time here on this earth. And it's, it's, as we see now, it's so fragile. And so in every role that we play, whether it be to the school district or our family, it's really reflecting on this idea of courageous leadership and what we're going to do with it. Absolutely. One of uh, the thoughts that has always, every time I look at this video, I, I I take something different uh, away, and I know that uh, with watching the news, uh, the the scramble and the, the the urgency for supplies, and I think about the same experience for our MASBA and our other school board leaders and leaders listening. That sense of urgency of now the school are going to be closed. 
And, and I remember through many of the postings, how are we going to feed? I believe that we can't be heard right now. I'm not sure if anyone's able to hear me. Oh, Cynthia, thank you. Well, I hope our listeners are able to hear us, Ms. Kickbush. I'm not sure if you can hear me. Great. I think yeah, I believe that y'all can still hear us. Uh, we can't hear anything on our end, but I'm going to connect with Ms. Kickbush via the phone. And if y'all can hear us, we'll just keep on talking. Okay, so I think they might be able to hear us still, right? So I think her and I should just keep talking. We'll just be on speaker through our phone and we will continue to share.